Hi everyone. I'm really excited. Today I'm getting my second facial of the year with my really good friend Jessie. Um, you guys might know her because we have collaborated together a ton in the past. I've known Jessie for the last five plus years. I've seen her transition into becoming an esthetician and I'm really proud of what she has become and what she is now offering. So I'm super jazzed to go and get a facial from her. Her specialty is vibrant aging and she does a lot of different modalities, but she's definitely a functional esthetician, which is really rare to find. There's definitely estheticians out there who are holistic or who have a nutrition background, but she has a little bit more of like a health science background with like functional medicine integrated within that. That and her compassion that she has for any sort of autoimmune issue or inflammatory skin condition is really fantastic because she struggled with it herself. So I am not wearing any jewelry. I'm wearing comfortable clothing that's gonna be easy to take on and off. It's not gonna be rubbing too closely to my face. I'm ready for my hair to get messy, ready with my glasses, no contacts today, and did all of my computer work so I don't have to worry so much about being around a blue light after this. Uh, and then some of the things I did wrong is yesterday was the Super Bowl. I did intake a fair amount of caffeine and a fair amount of sugar. So that is gonna to indicate to me that I might get a little flary today in terms of my sensitivity and the redness in my skin. So I'm gonna forewarn her with that, but it'll help guide her if I give her some of that intel so she knows maybe not to do anything that could activate too much heat in me. But I'm ready for it. I'm ready for whatever she thinks I need. I didn't wash my face because again, it's early in the morning. I did take a shower though, just avoided my face altogether. I'm gonna prep with a little bit of water and uh, make sure I have the address ready to go on my phone. I'm going to give myself plenty of time to park uh, because that is a huge thing in Los Angeles and the last thing anybody needs is for a client to be late because it then takes the rest of your day back however you're late and it can cut into your food time, it can cut into your cleanup time, into your self-care time, into whatever and so let's say I knew I was gonna be running late, I would make sure I have her contact info so that I can immediately let her know so she can make whatever accommodations she needs or tell me that she needs to reschedule me, which I would 100% have to understand. The, the coronavirus is a big scare right now and the flu is a big scare right now, so I am 100% like A-OK -okay immune. If I were to be feeling something, I would absolutely have let her know so we can reschedule because that is not fair to her or her potential future clients um, to be in the same atmosphere as such a contagious illness. Okay, I think that's about it. So I'll kind of show you along the way and I'm excited to see my friend Jessie and get my face nurtured on. All right, I'll see you guys there. Mwah. I'm tempted to go see a movie after this. <laughs> Okay, this is my beautiful friend, Jessie Hines. Thank you so much, Haley. I'm Jessie, and this is my lovely new space in Hollywood. I'm very excited oh, about it. Oh my gosh, you guys will die. Thank it's you. so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, Haley, for visiting. I am a holistic esthetician. I was actually a mentee of Haley's mm -hmm. for several years, um, so she's really taken me under her wing. And with that amazing foundation, I've been able to build on that and my main passion and focus is vibrant aging. Yes. Um, of course, we are all aging. Um, I always say it's a blessing. It's better than the alternative. And there are so many ways that we can, you know, work with our systems as a whole, really support our whole body in a way to 
age vibrantly. Um, it doesn't have to be this negative. We don't have to focus on the anti-aging, but by really supporting, starting from a cellular level, yeah. really feeding our cells, really supporting lymphatic flow, all of that is gonna keep cells really young, healthy, and vibrant. And so you're gonna have a beautiful glow from the inside out. Mm. So a couple of the modalities that I use to support that are microcurrent, Love, love, love microcurrent uses a very low level electric current to really vitalize the cells. And today we'll be doing some gua sha and lymphatic drainage. Yay. So with that focus on flow and lymphatics and just feeding the system. Awesome. So I'm excited for you guys to check it out. Thanks, Jesse. So first, Jessie sets the tone for me with a really beautiful atmosphere by making sure that I'm comfortable with a table warmer on. She's spraying a nice, beautiful atmosphere spray to help me get in touch with my breath. There's a beautiful knit weighted blanket on me so that I feel comforted and soothed and I'm immediately placed in a nice, calm state. She also cho chose different gemstones to incorporate in the treatment and has laid them on my heart chakra. So right now, she's just sort of assessing what my skin might need with just a nice, gentle, introductory touch, which is going to indicate how she wants to navigate the facial. Since we are doing gua sha, we have decided to not do any extractions. She actually explains to me that removing extractions from this equation allows for her clients to tap into a nice parasympathetic state so they don't have to be shocked by the intrusion of the extractions. You can just float from one modality to the next and feel really supported along the way. She's chosen a beautiful, gentle oil cleanser by Biosance to do my first cleanse. And as you can see, she is not avoiding the chest area. She is making sure that my decollete my neck, every single little bit of my face is covered and nourished. And she's allowing for her hands to really start to get to know the areas of tension in my face, the areas that are just going to need a little bit more of that proper circulation that she's going to activate with massage, different products, LED light, and finally with some manual lymphatic drainage. And I love that she's going in behind my neck. This is a huge area of tension for most people. And she's sort of addressing the areas that I might need to sort of relax that she'll be able to kind of unblock with the gua sha stone in a moment. But as you can see, Jessie really takes her time with the cleansing process. This is something that I feel most people rush through in a facial setting, but also in their at-home setting. This is an opportunity to really connect with yourself and connect with the breath. I'm really thrilled that she is fully addressing all of my areas of concerns and giving me a nice side stretch of the neck, which is crucial for lymphatic drainage. If you are getting an esthetician who is practicing uh, lymph flow with you and they are not addressing the neck, then where is all that flow going to go? It has to flush down the neck. And if there's any areas of tension that block that flow, then perhaps you're not going to get the same sort of drainage you were promised. So I'm feeling really, really relaxed here. I'm just excited to catch up with her. So I'm going to be sort of chatty during this session, but I can imagine if I were a regular client and not a client slash friend, I would already be melting away silently and just enjoying receiving in this beautiful space that she's created. Jessie actually shares this space with another incredible esthetician that I'm gonna link below, and I hope to be able to get a facial from this year as well. Her name is Andrea, and she is the melanin muse of Hollywood, so anybody is interested in her, I'll tag her as well. We're moving on to a secondary cleanse. It's really important to not just cleanse with one cleanser in a facial setting. So this is a nice, just creamy cleanser that Jessie has chosen for me. And as I had mentioned, I was experiencing a lot of dehydration. So she's doing a really good job of not choosing anything that is going to further dehydrate me or create some tension in my skin. Now she has moved forward to a gentle enzyme mask, which is 
part pineapple, part papaya, and part cherry, all really gentle. She's great at making sure that I am conscious that there could be some stimulation here. But because I'm a really fair-skinned individual, I tend to not feel as much of that stimulation as somebody who with potentially darker skin tone might. So she's doing a great job of just introducing the different sensations I'm meant to be feeling and allowing me to navigate my comfort zone by communicating with her how I'm doing. So far, everything feels great. And once she neutralizes the enzymes and takes it off, I don't have any irritation. I'm just ready for the next step, which unfortunately, my camera cut off because I seem to not know how to operate a camera. But she did a beautiful gua sha series on me. And as you can see, even just one side of the face does a great job of just gently lifting the the skin. It's such a subtle yet impactful practice. And then once we have done the full face with gua sha, she is allowing me to lay under a beautiful LED light, which was really soothing and helped me get into a nice deep rest. Now that she has unblocked the stress and tension from my face and my neck with the gua sha technique, and is allowing me to sit and rest under the LED light. She did the Dr. Vodder manual lymphatic drainage technique to allow for any stagnant waste to flush on through. We then finished with some vitamin rich serums, a nice yet gentle moisturizer and protection. I feel beautiful and well rested. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> That was amazing. I feel amazing. I you am look stoned. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jesse, any post care I should know about? Yeah. So today, um, I just want you to take it easy. This facial is all about rest and relaxation. So just keep that vibe going, and definitely want you to drink a lot, a lot of water, because um, we did a lot of lymphatic work. So you're going to be moving a lot. So we want to keep all of that flow going. Stay out of the sun. No Perfect. crazy workouts. Um, just. Take it easy. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh.